Where should I go? I have some missions to do, but uh, where do I need to go next? I'm gonna go to Wildlands. Um, just gonna see the story. Oh, Snow was never the type to think things through. There's no forgetting that a thousand years ago, when Cocoon was still floating in the sky, we were marked as Lassie, that cursed pact with the false god. Gods have us great. Whatever! <laughs> Fuck! This stop, the Wildlands. Passengers for the Dead Dudes and Luxarian South Station, please board now. Thank you. So, this is the last surviving wilderness. once was nature's last stand wild beasts still live and die here as they always have it's raw in nature red in tooth and claw and the chaos here is just as dangerous the people who live out here are not like the city dwellers they're different they don't follow the teachings of the order and they don't want to rely on handouts either so they strive to live off the land. A refuge for those who refuse to be tamed. Is that it? Light! The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead, whence the chaos flows. Here you will meet the servant of fate, adorned with feathers of white. The angel of Valhalla. Light? What just happened? I heard a voice. It said that I've been led here, and I'm supposed to meet someone. The Angel of Valhalla. What kind of voice? I didn't pick anything up on this end. A young girl, but I don't think she's close. It was more like she was speaking from the chaos itself. I just ran a search on this angel person, but it came up blank. Maybe you should ask the locals. Mm. I still don't know what I was supposed to, I'm supposed to do. I think I'm weak here. Okay, maybe I will teleport to another place. I don't know. Yeah? What do you want? I have a question for you. Whoa. Have you ever heard of someone called the Angel of Valhalla? You must be new to these parts. There's not a man or woman here that doesn't know the Angel. The Angel of Valhalla isn't a person. It's a legendary chocobo, covered in feathers as white as the clouds. It's the sacred bird that only appears at the end of the world. So it's a local legend, then? Yeah, a legend. At least that's what it used to be. But in recent times, many folk have seen the bird with their own two eyes. A lot of us are thinking maybe that story is true. Okay. Maybe it is, but Dr. Ghazal has been after it for years, and he still doesn't have proof that the beast is the one from legend. Dr. Ghazal? Who would that be? The famous veterinarian, of course. A prickly character with the temper of a behemoth, but he loves his chocobos. When it comes to the angel, he's the leading expert in all of the wildlands. The doctor lives up the road a bit, in the village of Canopus Farms. If you catch him in a good mood, he'll help you out. Um, maybe. <laughs> hmm. A white chocobo at the end of the world. I will try. Why not? There's nothing about this in any of the official scriptures of the Order. What is this? The schedule for Transvaal for Dan Dunes. Okay. Right. A bad-tempered chocobo vet by the name of Dr. Gazal. Hmm. They said I could find him in Canopus Farms. You aren't from around here, are you? Mm. I suppose you've come to seek the wisdom of our famous Dr. Ghazal. <laughs> I wanted to ask him about the Angel of Valhalla. I knew it. 
Well, first things first. You have heard of our Chocobo legend, right? For the people of the Wildlands, the White Chocobo is a sign. Hmm. A herald. Canopus. Uh, okay, let's go. Many of these lands oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. <gasps> the goddess of <laughs> Oh, so sorry. They pray to eventually return to her side, which in their hmm. creed is the same as ceasing to exist. Ooh, this is new. I'm gonna. Oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. To me. Time to cut them down. You think you can be forgiven? Let's go! Oh, to thunder! Okay. I know what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go to Canopus, whatever. Try to know the times there. And try to buy some grabs there too. And then... For a side quest, I think. Oh, there's one over there. Okay. There's a flower here. Oh, this is Canopus thing. Is here? Yes, it is. Oh my god, this is ginormously big. Morning, fellow wildlands residents. Time to wake up, take a big whip of that fresh air, and get to work. Oh, there is something for me here, and I'm gonna buy it! Yeah. What do you need today? <gasps> Four! Four! Oh, I don't like when they... Ooh, when they put her... Playboy shades? Come on! I gotta buy everything because I gotta go to use Nehansa and give these things to the other girl. It's a mission. Come back again soon. So you know what guys? It's time! What do you want? <laughs> I wanna know more about the Angel of Valhalla. Go away. I heard <laughs> you know things. The encounter is ordained, you have been led to the fountainhead whence the chaos flows. Does that mean anything to you? Great Etro's helm. Where did you hear those words? Who spoke them? A young girl. But I never saw her. A maiden's voice, born on the wind. Yes. Yes, that's how I heard them too. So it would appear that she has spoken to both of us. Very well. I will share what I know. The angel is a tempestuous chocobo that lives in these plains. I myself have glimpsed the creature many times, but unfortunately I've never succeeded in capturing him. It is said whoever can break him and ride him will become his master. But I've long since given up hope that it shall be me. Who me? I don't know anything about chocobos. Don't rule yourself out, young lady. It's you gonna be her. One, Come on. If you're telling the truth about the voice, that is. It's true, not everyone who hears the voice is the chosen one. But rest assured, the encounter will happen. The legends tell us that the Chocobo's chosen master will be led by the Chocobo to a certain place. Hmm. I speak of that dread edifice whence the chaos emerges, the Temple of there. Metro herself. You mean the one built into the cliff? The very same. And deep below that sinister haven of destruction, an ocean of chaos royals, the great chaos of the stories. Hmm, what does that mean? Is it a different kind of chaos? Alas, the legends give us few details. If you wish to find an answer to that question, you will have to seek the truth in the temple. And to do that, I've got to find and tame the Angel of Valhalla. Yes, indeed. But that, let me assure you, is no easy task. I have a couple of assistants who live here in the village. Talk to them, and they can give you advice about finding the chocobo. Okay. An ocean of great chaos buried beneath a temple. What is this? 
Is this right? Yes, it is. Okay. Is this what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. I don't want to go too far in the... Huh? Come. Stay, friend. These lands are filled with dangerous beasts. What's more, a chocobo eater chocobo rampages can in talk. the east. If a chocobo predator's out there, there must be chocobos too. Oh. So, you were seeking the wild chocobo. Normally, I would warn city folk from such folly, but you look yes, capable. Yes, I know. But know if you find yourself in trouble. We turn quickly to the high road. My people are there and will help. Okay. Destruction might be buried somewhere in that temple. The unseen chaos. Bahamut! I came into contact with it. Just what? A worthy opponent. Oh my god! Yeah! Oh my god, you're so strong! What the fuck? Get away from me! Oh, oh god, no! This is not good! Stagger him! Uh. Okay, this is this will be hard. This will be hard. Yes. It's not something that belonged in this world. It had to be stopped and destroyed. But I wasn't strong enough to stop it. The chaos came anyway. Oh. And it destroyed the world. <gasps> it came from the dark. It's the white chocobo. I found it. He's injured. This was you easy. Have to help him. This will be a fun challenge. Let's switch it up. Uh. Don't even try. <laughs> Oh my god! You're down. Okay. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god, two times. Oh my god, so many times. Stop it. Your soul is my plan. Let's switch it up. Ah. Oh my god. Blood's up now. Okay. God damn it! Stop eating me! Oh my god. Jesus, this was easy, bud. Fuck! Nizara. That's nice. It's really nice. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this.
Why didn't he just run away? He's torn up pretty bad. Perhaps he had to fight to protect something. It's all right, little one. I'll help you. You're bleeding heavily. We have to stop it. It's the white chocobo. What happened here? He needs medical attention, and fast. Right. I'll get the doctor. Yeah! Yep! Yeah. Oh. Worse than I feared. Hey, help me get him to Canopus Farms now. Yes, I won't doctor. let him die. Of that, you have the word of Doctor Gizal. Stop okay, moving go. around quickly. Hey, Hope. Do you really think that was a chocobo? Why do you ask? It might be a subspecies, but it certainly looked like a chocobo to me. Right, to me too. But the thing is, when I first saw it, I felt this weird familiarity. I'm sorry. Dr. Gazal's in surgery right now and can't be disturbed. You'll have to wait Give here. Me some fresh water. As I stood there, watching the doctor try to save the chocobo's life, I knew this was no ordinary animal. Not only because of the legend, I felt a connection, as if we'd fought together. Come see for yourself. Light, what about the chocobo? Do you want to leave without seeing how it's doing? Is he all right? His wounds are cleaned and dressed, but he's still dying. Can't you help? Listen to me. He's half-starved. If he is to recover, he needs nutrients, vitamins, protein. But no matter what we do, we can't make him eat. Is he that weak? It's not a question of being weak. He's too proud. That's the problem. We've tried everything to coax him, but he simply won't accept any food from humans. And the fool beast just glares at us. That pride will kill him. Such a stubborn bird can be none other than the Angel of Valhalla. The only human the Angel will bow to is the one he recognizes as Master. Perhaps he will obey you. Try it. Offer him this. Light, it might be the Chocobo's only hope. Try giving him that vegetable. Is this all right? Well, it looks like he recognizes you as his master. As long as we keep providing him with feed, he should recover. I say we, but of course I mean you. He will not accept help from anyone else. He has to be your responsibility and yours alone. If I do it, will he recover? I would bet my reputation on it. This is the bird of legend. You're destined to ride him to the fountainhead of the chaos. But before you can do that, the bird needs to be fed. So you said. 
Any hints? What kind of food should I give him? I prescribe a balanced diet of Gizal greens, quality sheep's milk, and nutritional supplements. Give it some mystical milk. Okay. I'm gonna save my baby now. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh. Easy there. Be careful. Such a resilient animal. Will he be all right? Hmm. Let's have a look. <laughs> yes, he's doing much better. Healthy enough to be ridden, I'd say. He's on the way to a complete recovery, but you'll need to keep an eye on him for a while. Ah, I must say, he truly is a splendid specimen. I've spent a hundred years caring for chocobos, and I feel as if it were all preparing me for this moment. Thank you. What will happen next? What will we discover in Wildlands? Check the next episode. And his only reward was to turn into a monster. How about you do him a favor? Do what he asked. That thing's not even him anymore. It's kinder to put it out of its misery. Yep, Snow's gone. And you know what? The only hope for his soul lies in death. So that's it. Oh, that is good. I bet he became a Seath right now because he wanted you to kill him. 